Hello there, and welcome to Raw Reviews, where we take an unedited look at some of our favorite accessories. I'm Nick, along with Nikolai from Cometa Camera, and we've got something special for you today. What is it? Today we have the Fujifilm Instax Share Smartphone Printer. All right, so this builds on the instant cameras that Fujifilm has been producing recently, like the Instax Mini or Instax Wide cameras. And basically it does the same thing as the old school Polaroids did. It prints out uh, pictures on instant film, which are available after a few minutes, and you can share with your friends. You actually have something to hold and give them instead of sharing exactly. on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and it works, of course, with your smartphone. What else? And everyone's got one of those on them now. Even me. And I'm an old school kind of fella, but even I have a smartphone. So the first thing you have to do is download the uh, Instax Share app. It's free, of course. And it works with this pretty seamlessly. All you have to do is connect to it. It emits a Wi-Fi signal. Find the Wi-Fi network, find that on your phone, connect, use the default passwords, 1111, and you're ready to go. All right, here's your menu. It's got a few different options. You can take a picture, so you can share it right away. Um, Real-time template, I don't exactly know what that does, but we'll just read the instructions and figure it out later. Yes. Uh, you can choose from your gallery, which I like to do because I take pictures with a nice camera and have lots of nice pictures, which I can print out on this, uh, on this printer. Or you can choose from your Facebook or Instagram feed. Or if you want to reprint, you can just reprint the last picture that you sent to the printer. And actually, there's a handy little button here on the side. There it is, right where my index finger is. And that allows you to reprint the last things just by clicking that button. So for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to take a picture of my cohort Nikolai over here. Oh boy. All right, give me that award-winning pose. All right, there he is, flashing the sign of victory. Yes. I'm going to click OK. I'm not going to do any editing to that one. Actually, I'm going to add a nice sepia tone to it. Going old school. All right, so there he is, sepia tone Nikolai. Click on print. It's going to send the file via Wi-Fi, and now the magic is happening. I'll put it up to my mic so you can hear it. This is very exciting. Suspenseful. <laughs> oh, there ah! it goes. All right, and like I said, just like a Polaroid, it emits your analog instant film, and that will take a few minutes to develop. Waving it around does something, right? Yes. I don't know if it actually does anything. I think it might have been proven that it actually doesn't do anything. But I think everyone's just in the habit of doing it already, so. It looks cool. Yes. Look at me. Anyway, so we have some examples of uh, stuff that we already took pictures of. Um, we have a couple pictures of previous takes of Nikolai's <laughs> goofy pose. But it actually turned out really nice. And this is coming from a smartphone camera. But you know what? It looks better than uh, the instant cameras do normally, yeah. I think. You get a nice uh, clear focus. And with this printer, you get a nice uh, analog look. Not it's to mention, you can edit them a little bit more. You can edit them. You phone. can reposition them or resize them. And in your phone, of course, you yes. can add a lot of different things. You can add filters, a million different filters. Is, so that's, so. yeah, that's one benefit over that than getting the actual Instax camera. Right. This is one I took of uh, my family with my Sony A6000. And um, I'm pretty pleased with the way this came out. Considering that it's on instant film, I think it looks really nice. You get the uh, the sharpness in the color reproduction that you get from a good quality camera, and you can have that transferred over to a nice little bit of analog film that's, of course, easily shareable, and you can write on it, of course. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, let's see how that sepia tone picture of Nick is working out. It's almost fully developed. That'll take another minute or two. Lovely. But it's not bad. <laughs> You're right out of the 1800s with your good buddy, Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is an image I just took from uh, Google. So you can see what like a web image would look like. It's on like here. they're uh, long lost twins. Yes. I'm a descendant, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, you can take some really great pictures and share them with your friends. And uh, basically, it's, uh, it's a heck of a little gift. And your friends can print from it, too. That's right. You can connect a number of smartphones or tablets all at the same time. So you can have a little uh, photo printing party. Of course, try to keep them from wasting all your film because it is a little bit on the pricey side. Or, you know, charge them a dollar per print. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> or at least do a cover charge. All right. So if you are interested in a uh, Instax Share printer, head over to Cometa.com and pick up yours today. 
And don't forget to comment and like our uh, YouTube page. That's right. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll have more Raw Reviews in the future. Catch you next time. On Raw Reviews.